10 to the 405, yeah. <laughs> you got to wait on that ramp. Yeah. That and is such high, first world privilege right there. And if you're it fucking is. high and you're in the middle of that ramp, yeah. your mind starts playing. I'm telling you, I've been stuck on that ramp and I've gone never again. Oh, man. I, I want to go a... through this ramp. I don't ever want to be in the middle of that ramp. That's yeah. not good. Not good. Your mind starts playing with you and you remember that those <gasps> images and you go, fuck that. Okay, let me, let's plan this right now. If the shit hits the fan and this thing yeah. shakes to the ground, yeah. where are we going? Because listen, one of the main reasons why I like being in LA is because I like you guys. Yeah, so where are we going to all go? <laughs> I like, I like uh, for real, like 100%. Like that, that was the thing that bothered me the most about Colorado. I, I, there was a lot of nice people out there. But I didn't know you You guys weren't out there. You were alone. It's a well, weird feeling you, to be I see, alone. I would yeah. see you when we work together. On the, but there's something fun about running into you guys all the time. Yeah, Like, yeah. it makes life better. We do it sets does. at the store, yeah. the factory, the, and wherever we're at. It's more fun. It makes life more fun. Do I would we do, do this a, podcast. A hundred percent. I would do a yeah. group move to Colorado. If Fuck yeah! Down. That's what I'm talking about. I love about. that state. That's what we do. The yeah. group and, move and to Colorado is the right way. And you got to remember, guys. It's not our decision in that. It could be you go home, and Mrs. Rogan sits you down and go, "That's it. I'm not living through yeah. this again." Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what. That's how. And um, in fact, I packed the bags. I'm got going bags to Colorado <laughs> without you. <laughs> I'm going to a hotel. Like some yeah. people, it affects that way. Yeah. Oh yeah, that they yeah. go like this ends right now. today. Yeah, with that with that earthquake. You're yeah, like, yeah, some sure. people really. I bet if you it. feel it, if you feel that motherfucker, the ones that take down highways, if you feel that, you're like, oh my god. Like and this is not even a really big one. Yeah. Really big ones change the shape of continents. True. True. I mean, that's the real fear. The real fear is there's a giant one, like a ten or an eleven. Part of you, by the way, always feels kind of crazy. Like when I was growing up in Florida with hurricanes, that like after a hurricane, you're like, are we staying after this? And they're like, yeah, it happens all the time. That's Florida's mentality. Like this is shit that happens. We're just bored up, get beer. Yeah, yeah, but there's We're something about a hurricane that, like, yeah. for whatever reason, I feel like if you're just in the basement, the top blows off the thing, and you just fucking strap yourself Sometimes. in like a wild ride at Disneyland. But but now they give you these warnings. They're like, you're definitely gonna die if you're at the beach, <laughs> and people still are like, fuck it. Yeah, and they're like, oh for sure. I have my friend's mom. His mom is like seventy something years old, and this big one was coming. They're like. This time we're not fucking around. This is a category five. This is going to absolutely devastate this area. And she was like, absolutely not. I've been here 40 some years. Nothing ever fucking happens. And he begged her and she was like, no. And then it, <laughs> and it's like, you know, those are always those reports are always rolling the dice because they they'll, they'll say it's going to be this bad. And then it'll, you know, it'll turn or it'll land different. Yeah. And it turned into like a tropical storm. She was like, see. But like, <laughs>